Mm. I think we, we, we could see that in the, the whole Will Smith thing in the media now where people were saying like Will Smith was like strong for getting up there and standing mm. up for women. Um, but in my mind, I was like, Chris Rock was a strong one there. I mean, he was the one yeah. who stood there, he took it, he did not revert, he didn't go down to his level. Will yeah. Smith showed massive weakness there and he's paying for it. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, it was very ugly, wasn't it? And it did make me think, well, you know, if somebody is prepared to act like that in front of all of those people, um, you know, then what's happening behind the scenes or, or in other circumstances when, you know, the whole world isn't watching. So, um, you know, aggression, there's never any justification for it. Um, and you know, and I think most people, hopefully, would would um, agree that that was unacceptable when they think about it. Mm. I think it sparked a conversation between me and my partner, where my partner said, "If you ever did anything like that, I would be utterly embarrassed, and I would walk." Yeah. The room. Um, yeah. And what I said is that um, there's really there's not much of a reason for me to stand up for you because you sh- you're capable of standing up for yourself. I think this yeah. whole that men need to stand up for their women is implying that women can't stand up for themselves yeah yeah and I think you know what it's actually about is that he felt disrespected by it wasn't really about her at all um and I think often in those situations perhaps men will blame it on well I was protecting the woman I was being chivalrous or whatever but actually it's about them feeling that their ego was being dented by another man and therefore, you know, he, he's going to react with aggression in relation to that. Um, but I don't think it really had anything to do with her. 